Scientists agree a magnitude 9 earthquake and tsunami, much like what northeastern Japan experienced in 2011, will someday happen off our shore as well. It will originate from the Cascadia subduction zone, a fault that runs for hundreds of miles off the Oregon-Washington coast, a fault scientists are paying close attention to right now. And so we're worried about a, a locked part of the Cascadia Fault way offshore. Dr. Chris Goldfinger is a marine geologist at Oregon State University. Like many scientists, he's monitoring a burst of small, almost undetectable earthquakes that started happening deep within the earth about a month ago. What you see here, these are called episodic tremor and slip, ETS for short. The band of tremors stretches from the Puget Sound down to about Medford. It's important to point out in Oregon, an event like this does happen about every two years. However, the one happening now is occurring about a year and a half earlier than normal. And what's even more intriguing is that it's coinciding with a similar tremor burst happening right now in Washington. We haven't really seen it do that before. Goldfinger says the event is likely adding to the pressure building up along the Cascadia subduction zone, and these small tremors may be a sign of a much bigger one to come. One sort of left field hypothesis is that a big earthquake might look like this before it starts. But he adds, although possible, that scenario is unlikely. So the only way something like this could trigger a bigger earthquake was if the fall was already ready to go was basically locked and loaded and just needed a little more to, to shove it over the edge. And as, as far as we know, that's not true at this point. Still, Goldfinger says he'll be watching these tremors closely, looking for any changes, any hints as to what, if anything, they're leading up to. Chances are it's something like that. It's just something we haven't seen. But we also, you also can't rule, rule it out as a precursor to something, something bigger. Now, Goldfinger says even if this tremor event does turn out to be something just random, he says it's an important reminder that we do have an active fault off our coast and that the plates are moving. And if you don't already have one, maybe now's the time to get that earthquake emergency kit ready.